with the lawyer here on the board, Miller, who has not been properly recognized as being working with Mark Michael. I'd like to introduce Mr. Alvin Gladys, who stand up. Mr. Alvin Gladys, who stand up. Mr. Alvin Gladys, who stand up. And Mark Mazzano, who is a black guy in the street, who is a teacher. I'm former Congressman Joe D'Aguardi, now an active citizen, doing uh, the work that I did in Congress with some nonprofit organizations that I set up. And I'm particularly grateful today to be here with the black community because I started something in Westchester County, in Mount Vernon, my district, for them. And that's what this is all about. This little booklet tells it all, and I made enough copies for everybody here because there's a history here. When I got to Congress, a black historian, Dr. Leroy Ramsey, came to see me. And he said, uh, Joe, you were the only one to answer a letter I drafted for Governor Cuomo to 30, 34 congressmen that were representing Westchester County. In those days, we had 17 Democrats, 17 Republicans. We're down to 27. We're losing some power. So he said, did you know that a million five hundred and fifty thousand African Americans served World War I and World War II, and not one, not one got our country's highest military award. It's called the Medal of Honor. Not the Congressional Medal of Honor, it's called the Medal of Honor. I said, you know, I'm a CPA and those numbers don't add up. Well, what's the issue? He says, well, we had segregation in World War I and World War II. This was President Wilson. The whole country was segregated in terms of the government. And he said, uh, it turned out that this happened. Well, I said, then this must be racism. Well, we don't like to call it that. Well, you got to call it what it is. It's racism because of all those people that served and do dozens were recommended for our nation's highest award, this is the Medal of Honor, why didn't at least one get it? So I started to act on this in Congress and I said, well, you know what? I'm a junior member of the minority party down here. I better find someone with power. And I went to the Congressional Black Caucus Chairman, Mickey Leland, and I explained. He says, Joe, you know what? I'll do it for your guy in New York, Henry Johnson, and that was who I was looking for, if you work with me on Dory Miller. So we both put in bills to open up the Statute of Limitation in order to, and you have to do that, to then get a Medal of Honor if so many years pass by. And we started that in 1987. Well, the resistance was incredible, but we were activists. We went around the House floor, got people to sign on, and we got almost 200 signatures when the Secretary of Defense, Carlucci, calls me and he says, you know, you guys are making trouble. Why don't you come to my office? I said, I'd be delighted to, but I have to bring Mickey Leland with me. And that's when he made a Solomon-like decision. He said, I tell you what, don't run around getting signatures. I will get a grant from the Department of Defense, I'm the Defense Secretary, and get an independent black university, turned out to be Shaw, to do the study. How many African-Americans got the second highest award and why didn't they get the first? And it turned out that we got seven medals from that study, but the first one was issued, Corporal Freddie Stowers, South Carolina, and I was in the White House ceremony with President George H.W. Bush. And then we did, we did a bunch more, seven in the Army, and then the one that we were searching for, for New York State, Henry Johnson, that came in the Obama White House in June 2015. Now why this is important and timely today is that if you woke up and read the papers, New York Times, on Saturday, you'd find out that today in Honolulu, the Navy Secretary is announcing that the next aircraft carrier is going to be named for Dory Miller, the one that we've been fighting for for 30 years to get a Medal of Honor. Here's the guy from New York, and, here's, and these are the first two that we opened the statute of limitations for, Mickey Leland and myself. So I continue this as a citizen, 30 years, we now have nine medals, and we're hoping to have the 10th one, and maybe now we're gonna get it even faster because a lot of people now will learn about the heroism of this gentleman who was called a messman. Why? There were no really enlisted people. If you were an African American, you were in the kitchen, and they served the officers. At the end of the war, World War II, they changed that. But this is a phenomenal story, and it all started in Westchester County.